I want to play something that uh, I, I hope, it is my honest prayer that every day I can reach somebody, and they don't even have to agree with me in the end, but reach somebody that hasn't done their homework, who has just listened to the media and has bought into all of this stuff, but they're starting to go, you know, something doesn't seem right. Every day, I just hope that one person in this audience wakes up because it's not just about the country. It's honestly about our souls. We, 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 are, we are so easily led astray on this. Now, I want to play something from uh, Jamie Raskin. Now, Jamie Raskin is the guy who was in charge of the uh, impeachment of Donald Trump. He is, you know, in my opinion, he's not the, be- he's not the best of guys. But I just want you to hear what he was saying. Now, this is, this is a couple of months ago in a conversation at a bookstore in Washington, D.C. The book is Politics and Prose. And here's Jamie Raskin talking to the public on what is coming if Donald Trump is elected. Now, listen to this. Cut four. Well, last night, I was most worried um, about the Supreme Court's prospective imminent abdication of its very clear duty to disqualify Donald Trump from the ballot under Section 3 of the 14th Amendment Mm -hmm. and what that might mean if their decision says that it's really up to Congress Mm -hmm. on January 5th or January 6th, 2025 um, to disqualify him at the counting of the Electoral College votes, which really could lead to something akin to civil war, if that's, if that's what the suggestion is, which is what I think I heard when I went to the oral argument, that they, that they themselves were unwilling to rule whether or not the Colorado Supreme Court was correct in finding that he had engaged in insurrection on January 6, 2021. So, but that, that was just last okay. night's worry. So that, I, want you to, I, want you to, I want you to understand what he was saying. Um, the 14th Amendment, Section 3, is, was written about the Civil War. And it was, if you were, you know, if you were Jefferson Davis, who was a congressman or a senator, I can't remember, um, and he was the head of the Confederacy, because he was the president of the Confederacy, he engaged in insurrection. And so he could not then become president of the United States. Anyone who was engaged in insurrection could not be president of the United States. Well, that was very, very clear back then who was part of the insurrection and who was not part of the insurrection. It was a civil war. Donald Trump has never been, he's been accused of all kinds of stuff, and he's been accused of engaging in an insurrection, but he has never been charged with that. Out of all of the charges that they have laid against this guy, they've never charged him with insurrection, okay? Which means, because he's never been charged, he's never stood trial. He didn't get a chance to make the case, no, that wasn't insurrection. I wasn't involved in an insurrection. So he hasn't been charged, he hasn't been tried, nor has he been convicted of that. But Raskin just believes that he was involved in an insurrection and doesn't even think he, they need to make the legal case he thinks the Supreme Court just should have said, no, it was insurrection. Okay. So what he's saying here is, if he is elected, we're going to charge him with insurrection under the 14th Amendment, Section 3, and disqualify him before he is uh, officially sworn in as President of the United States. So they will overturn the, the vote. He is so serious about this. Now, remember, this is the way these people have been working. They, ha- they just say it, and because they have the media, it just becomes that, okay? Donald Trump was in cahoots with the Russians to overturn the election in 16. None of that is true. Donald Trump had a bank account uh, that was being pinged by the Russians. None of that was true. Uh, but it suddenly became true. Uh, the same thing with Hunter Biden. His laptop isn't real. That was true for a long time for a lot of people, even though the government and people like Jamie Raskin knew it wasn't true. Uh, take Biden. He's not senile. They met with him. They knew he was fading. 
but they needed him to be the guy until he proved in a debate he couldn't be the guy. He loses the debate, and all of a sudden he is senile, and he has to go right now because why? He can't handle being president? Then why didn't you invoke the 25th Amendment? Why didn't you do it the right way? Why did you have a coup? But it wasn't a coup. It was a democratic process. No, it wasn't. Not, not constitutional. He resigned, sure. But how did that come about? That was a coup. Then they just replaced. Now, remember, Harris was, um, she was incompetent. She was a joke. Everybody in the media knew that. Everybody said that. In fact, the stories were just a week before she can't keep her staff. She is so hated. She's a monster in the office. And a week later, after hearing that for three years, a week later, the new reality is that it's Camelot, like Camelot, that she's going to bring back the JFK years because she's so beloved and so smart and so unifying. So when they say things, they just expect everyone to believe it. And the sad thing is, about 30% of the population believes it. Inflation is transitory. It's not real. It is real. And now it is real. But it was Donald Trump's fault somehow or another. Now, the consequences of this is significant. And Jamie Raskin knows it. Listen to Cut 5. What can be put into the Constitution can slip away from you very quickly. And the greatest example going on right now before our very eyes is Section 3 of the 14th Amendment, which they're just disappearing with a magic wand as if it stop, doesn't stop, exist. Stop, even stop. Though- they're disappearing this as if it's a magic wand. How, 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 is, the, how is the right making something in the Constitution disappear? We're not disappearing it. We're saying charge him. Try him. You don't because you cannot win that case. You don't have any evidence of that case. It was easy under Jefferson Davis. And believe me, if Donald Trump was trying to overthrow the, the country and the Constitution, I would be standing with Jamie Raskin, not near him. I don't know. I don't want to catch whatever it is he's got. Insanity. But I would not stand for any president either side trying to overthrow the Constitution of the United States. And I don't think you would either. But they haven't made that case. They just accuse. So what happens, he says, we're making that just disappear. So you got to fight for the Constitution. (laughs) And here's what he says is going to happen. Disappearing with a magic wand, as if it doesn't exist, even though it could not be clearer what it's stating. And so... You know, they want to kick it to Congress, so it's going to be up to us on January 6, 2025, to tell the rampaging Trump mobs that he's disqualified. And then we need bodyguards for everybody in Civil War conditions, all because the nine justices, not all of them, but these justices who have um, not many cases to look at every no, year, no. not that much work to do, a huge staff, oh my God. great protection, simply do not want to do their job and interpret what the great 14th amendment means. Um, It is, it, 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 listen to, listen to what they're saying on one hand, because nine people made the choice that it is not a federal issue on abortion. They haven't done their job and they're out of control. And what the Supreme court was saying is it has to be up to the people and the States not the court, not nine people making that decision. They do the same thing on what does the 14th Amendment mean? Well, you got to kind of charge the guy. But, you know, this is all about Congress. So Congress has to make it. They don't want that responsibility. They want the nine guys in the robes to blame. And so they, they mock and say the Supreme Court is lazy. And they just don't, they don't have much to do. And uh, they just don't want to do this. And so we're going to have to have bodyguards and civil war conditions. And I hate to say it, but Jamie Raskin is right. If they do that, it will be a civil war. You cannot unseat. I mean, look at what they're saying. 
we're going to do exactly what we've accused Donald Trump of doing. On January 6th, overthrowing the system. And somehow or another, they'll be heroes this time. America, you have a serious, serious choice. And some deep thinking is required now. 